Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Today, we offer ourselves to our Lord each and every Sunday to celebrate His resurrection. Today, in what we believe, we will speak about what we believe about receiving blessings and what we believe about blessing objects. It is very common in the Orthodox Christian Church when you get a new car, when you have a new cross, when you, during the time of Epiphany, we ask for the priest to come bless our homes, bless our objects. Why do we do this? We do this, of course, to first and foremost, to receive our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ's blessing. Blessings in the Old Testament were seen as showing favor to God, while blessings in the New Testament we read were for healing, were for sanctification, were for receiving the grace of Jesus Christ upon us. The best example that I can give is shown in our iconography of our church. If you look over on the icon of Epiphany or Theophilus, you see Jesus Christ going down into the waters. This icon is a manifestation of the Holy Trinity, which I'll speak of in a moment. But if you see Jesus Christ going down into the waters, even the lurking dragons there are being blessed. All animate and inanimate objects are being blessed by Him, and thus, these waters of the River Jordan are now sanctified by the grace of Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the Holy Spirit. When I spoke of it is a manifestation of the Trinity, we have a voice, John the Baptist baptizing Jesus Christ the Son. We have God the Father saying the words, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. And then we have the dove in the form of the Spirit coming down upon the head of Jesus. So just as these waters were sanctified at each of your baptisms, we prayed that the, those waters would become the waters of the River Jordan. And thus, when we are baptized, and thus, when we receive holy water, when we receive blessings in the church, we receive the grace of the Holy Spirit. What indeed a blessing. So therefore, all objects, animate, inanimate objects, all things can be blessed by our Lord. I brought this book out because this is a beautiful book in the church. There's actually four volumes of this, and it's called The Book of Needs. Now imagine, how many needs does a human have? Thousands upon thousands. This book has, is a book of needs, has prayers and blessings for all different things. Prayers for going on a trip, prayers for travel, prayers for blessing of a new home, prayers for the blessing of a new liturgical appointment. If we receive a new chalice or we receive a new spoon for the church, for Holy Communion, we have a prayer for that. If we receive a new cross, we have a prayer for that. If we receive a new gospel book, we have a prayer for that. If we go to your homes to bless your homes, there's a prayer for that. You see, there's a prayer for everything. We believe that God bestows his blessings upon us always. Even when the priest comes and you kiss his right hand, you're doing so because you're receiving, not my priesthood, Father, or Father Stephen's priesthood, but Christ's priesthood. And you're actually receiving Christ's blessing himself. So when you come up, it's not just to kiss the right hand of the priest. The real way of doing it is to go like this and to receive his blessing. Because you're receiving the blessing of God. You see, all of these little things that we do, they're not just superfluous things, but they're important things that help us live a sacramental life. Live a life that is blessed by God at all times. If you remember in our consecration of our church, the bishop, the Metropolitan and Bishop Demetrius, took these long poles and they blessed each of the icons with Holy Chrism. A beautiful, beautiful thing because they anointed them. They anointed our whole church. You see, we continually bless them. Today, we're going to offer a special blessing in the church. One of our faithful last year, of course, a very dear faithful of our church, Butch, Elias Nanos, passed away, survived by his loving wife, Alexa, who's with us this morning. And during this time, many faithful offered memorial donations to the church. We spoke with Alexa and we thought what would be best is to offer something special for our Lord God and Savior. And thus, we purchased new icons, which are the handheld icons that we use for all the feast days of the church. And now today, we are going to read the prayer of the blessing. 
This way, of course, we are not always, we are always keeping Butch's memory alive here at St. Mark, but we are also asking our Lord God and Savior to come down upon this wood, this icon, to bless it and sanctify it. And thus, may we all continue to live sacramental lives because the blessings come upon each and every one of us. This is what we believe about blessings, so important. Never take them for granted, but rather when you come to seek a blessing of the church, receive it with humility, with patience, and with the respect and the reverence and the love of God. Let us all stand now as we offer the blessing to the Holy God. Bless